What's going on y'all? Toby coming at you. It's a beautiful Sunday evening ride. And I'm going to tell you three things. Three things you need if you're interested in starting a YouTube mode of vlogging channel. Three things. So like I said, three things. Three things that you want to, you absolutely need to start a motor vlogging channel. Number one, you need some, and this is in, not in the order of importance. But number one, no, let's just go with the th number three thing you need. The number three thing you need: some kind of editing software to to. Uh, manipulate and edit the videos you create. Number two, some kind of a mounting system for the camera that you're going to use. Number three, and by far the most important, is what kind of camera are you going to use to record your rides, or record about your rides. And why I say what kind of camera is because it really does not matter to have, you don't need an action camera. You don't need an Insta360 or a GoPro or a Casa or anything. Mr. G and several others use their regular cell phones to record their stuff. There are mounts you can use to mount your cell phone while riding. The mounts are important because you need to have some kind of mount system in order to hold the camera either on your person or on the bike in some way, form, or fashion. I'm lost. No, I'm not. <laughs> my, my bad, I lost my way. Oh, my bad. Okay, love you. Like I said, don't excuse the uh, the the loss of azimuth interruption, folks. But like I said, the second thing is, is I refer to the mount. You need some kind of a mount to put that camera, whether it's your phone or whatever you're going to get, on this motorcycle, on the motorcycle you're riding, or on the on your person. Whether it be a mount that goes around your neck, or a mount that goes around your helmet, or whatever you're going to use. And like I said, the third thing I said was editing software. You need something. Cell phones have it nowadays. All sorts of editing softwares come out. Like I said, I know Mr. G and I think Doyle, Blue Bike and Doyle do some do some editing on their phones. So, but that's all you need, y'all. Editing software, at the bare minimum, editing software, some kind of a mounting system for your camera, and then the camera itself. That could, like I said, that could be your cell phone, that could be an action camera of some kind, some brand. But that's it. And the one unlisted thing I said, there were three things, but the bonus thing of all, and probably the most important of all this, y'all, is patience. Patience with yourself and, and the efforts of perfecting your craft. It's not an easy and overnight thing, y'all. It takes time to figure out editing software. It takes time to figure out exactly what you want to record. It takes time to figure out the best way to record it. So, but it's that, it's, 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 the list of requirements is simple. What you need. The traits you need are the more complex stuff. Patience, and you don't even need to have a whole lot of imagination, y'all. There's people out there that just record just for the hell of it, just to ride and enjoy. I mean, 
ultimately, as they say with Think Media, you gotta just press record. That's the biggest thing of all. You gotta have the courage to just press record. That's all I have for y'all. I hope this helps. I hope this uh, sheds some some simplicity on it. Again, the biggest thing is courage. Got to just press record and start talking. But in the meantime, with y'all, until the next time, y'all stay healthy. You ride safe, and you got blessed.